Jim Green. I'm a gunsmith. I have a shop in Harrington, Maine, down east. The name of the gun shop is Gunworks. Today's rifle we're going to discuss and take apart and clean is the ubiquitous AK-47. Uh, actually, this is not an actual AK-47. It's a semi-automatic version, sporting rifle on the civilian market. This particular rifle was actually chambered in 223 or 5.56 by 45 caliber. All these guns are going to disassemble basically the same. I'm not going to go into great detail about the origins of these rifles because I'm pretty sure by now everybody in the country that has one knows what they're all about. So let's take this rifle to the bench. As with any other disassembly for cleaning, the first thing you ought to do is make sure the rifle is empty and safe. So you remove the magazine, put the gun on fire, cock the bolt back and look inside the chamber, and you're set. These rifles come in but two basic two basic builds. You've got the milled receiver and you've got the stamped sheet metal receiver. They're both going to disassemble exactly the same way. Once the magazine is out and the, and the chamber is empty, you have a little uh, detent back here. You'll push in on it with your thumb, raise the dust cover, pull it off, set it off to the side. You'll see your little recoil spring assembly in here. You'll push forward on that again and lift that up. There's a little T-slot milled into the back of the uh, trunnion in the rear, and that's where that little uh, T sits right in that slot. So you just pull that off and set it to the side. From here, it's pretty simple. You just grab a hold of the uh, charging handle and pull the bow all the way to the rear and lift up and back. Now here you have your uh, bolt and your gas piston and your uh, bolt carrier assembly. To get this apart, all you have to do is just rotate the bolt Turn it all the way around until it unlocks and just slide it right out. Now for just basic field strip to be just regular cleaned, the last part of it right here, you'll see a small lever up here on the front, front trunnion right under the front, front side. Just lift that lever up until it, uh, you can just pull the gas tube straight up and back. Now for just regular cleaning, just after you're done shooting it, that's basically all you got to really do. Now these rifles were designed to be pretty simple and to be operated by basically peasant armies, you know, people with little to no training. However, sometimes you're going to have a situation where you're going to have dirt, trash, and sand done inside the fire control group. So we'll take that out today as well. What you'll do is just grab the, uh, the safety lever, pull it all the way up, and pull it out to the side. Once the safety's out, you'll have a little wire, or sometimes there'll be a small plate, but in this case, this is Romanian built, so there's a wire. There's a little wire in here that holds, the, that retains the two little pins. You just reach in and remove the wire. Or in some cases, you remove the little retaining plate. Sometimes they're called a shepherd's crook. All right. Next thing you do is release the hammer, get the pressure off of it. Now down inside here, the hammer spring on both of these are uh, a twisted piece of steel or twisted wire. So what you'll do is you'll pick those up and get them out of the way, a little hook. And now you'll be able to drive your first pin out for your trigger and stuff. So let's get that trigger out. You'll notice the, both pins are going to be, have a head on one side and a groove just behind that head. And that's what that little retainer wire or shepherd's crook or plate is going to hold that, help hold that in by being in that groove. So once you first, one, once you first pins out, <clears throat> you can reach in and remove your trigger assembly. This is where it gets a little tricky because you've got to get those, you gotta get those uh, wires out of the way. little wires of your spring for your hammer. Alright, come on. You don't have a whole lot of room to work with in there, but there you go. <clears throat> now 
Now this is what they call the, the TAPCO G2 trigger assembly. This is an aftermarket US part added to it. This, this is a good idea if you don't have this in your import gun. Reason being is because the AK-47s have a little tail on the back of them. And uh, this is what, this little disconnector here with that long tail is what operates this thing in automatic. Well, when they bob those off from the factory to make them semi-automatic, sometimes you get what they call the AK-47 trigger slap. And that can be a little on the painful side. Sometimes when this gun is being fired semi-automatic and you have your finger on the trigger, the whole thing reciprocating back and forth, the bolt and everything in there, it's going to cause that trigger to slap against your trigger finger. Sometimes it can cause pain. So it's a good idea to get one of these little aftermarket uh, G2 trigger groups from TAPCO. <clears throat> this is what they call a single hook, and you have others called a double hook. All this is is just you have a single hook or a, or a second hook over here that hooks onto the hammer. Now to get this apart, all you have to do is just pull this little sleeve right out the side, and then your, there's your trigger, your disconnector, and your spring. Now, the last part of this is going to end up being your hammer and hammer spring. So let's get that tapped out. Now keep in mind, this is going to have some spring tension on it. So what's going to happen when you drive that in there out at first, it's going to cause, cause the hammer to cock over and bind. So just grab a hold of that with a pair of pliers, pull that one out. Then you can remove your hammer and your hammer spring. Now this is how your hammer is going to fit down inside the rifle. All you got to do to get that apart for cleaning is just hold it, pull one side off one leg and one off the other side of the there we go. This is what I meant by single or double hook. When the hammer is inside the gun and the bolt pushes back to cock it, you see where your uh, little hook is going to hang on to the hammer right there. So when you pull the trigger, this next shot, it'll pivot forward and release the hammer to fall. Like I said, these are pretty simple guns, They're not that complicated. Really, the only time I ever recommend you have to disassemble the inner, inner parts like that is if you've got a lot of crud, a lot of dirt and trash in there, and it feels gritty, you can take it apart. Other things you can do if you'd like, you could uh, lift up on this little lever right here if you wanted to put some different furniture on it, get rid of the wood, get something a little bit stouter than that, I suppose, pry up on that. Better pair of pliers, a little more grip, a little less flex. There we go. That little lever right there is what retains everything on the front. But you can pop that little lever all the way up. This is a fairly new gun, so it's going to be pretty tight. Drive that forward, and you can remove your front hand guard. There's a lot of aftermarket stuff out there available for AKs these days. There we go. So you don't like the wood that it came with, you can dress it up. I'm not going to remove the rear one back here, but all you got to do for the rear one is just take your little screwdriver, pull this screw out the top, and remove your rear handguard, or I'm sorry, remove your rear buttstock. But stripped down like this, you can get to the gas port up here for cleaning. You can clean all the barrel out, get all the crud off the piston. Because sometimes this ammo comes, it's pretty corrosive. Now a little, little note about corrosively primed ammo. You're buying surplus ammo, dirt cheap to shoot in these. If it's corrosive, what that's going to be is potassium perchlorate is in the priming salt. And it's hygroscopic. And what that means is it draws moisture out of the atmosphere around you and causes your parts to prematurely rust. If you can buy non-corrosive surplus ammo, that's great. But if all you have is corrosively primed stuff, the fix for that is pretty simple. Once you get all the carbon cleaned off and all the other crud, find some Windex with ammonia D in it and spray it really good. Spray Windex with ammonia D all around the piston assembly, around the face and recess of the bolt, and finally down inside the gas port and down inside the bore itself, and then wipe it out. That neutralizes the priming salts, and you can clean the guns with regular gun oil like you would anything else. 
And that's an AK-47 stripped down for a good thorough cleaning. Anytime that you're firing corrosively primed ammo and you have to use the Windex or the Ammonia D, I'm going to say you need to clean that thing as soon as possible after you fire that corrosively primed ammo for the simple fact that it will cause these guns to rust. So if you can find, if you can buy the stuff, most of the stuff on the market today from like Wolf, Tula, and other places are going to be non-corrosive. The corrosively primed stuff is, is not quite as common as it used to be, but you still see quite a few rounds coming in the country that's being imported corrosively primed. But you definitely want to clean it as soon as you can from getting home from the range. Don't just stick it in your gun cabinet or closet and let it go for a couple of days. Because I guarantee if you do, next time you can take your gun out, you may or may not be able to get the bolt to open up. And it's definitely going to be bright orange on the inside. Thank you for watching this latest Gunworks video. Down East Gunworks is a full service fire and repair service for all your long guns and handguns that includes a high tech machine shop for tooling obsolete parts. Old or new, if you have a firearm that needs attention, Gunworks can probably fix it, solve it, coat it, and make it work. If you're living in Down East Maine, come by the shop for a visit. We're located on Route 1 in Harrington. If you live elsewhere, you can reach us by going to the website www.downeastgunworks.com or call in the shop at area code 207-483-2175. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please leave me a comment and rate the video. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll always know when I've posted something new. And thanks again for watching.